The holy grail of Zara is their bodysuit. Hi, my name's Charlotte Buttrick and today I have a Zara Nguyen haul. I have done the hard work for you because scrolling the Zara website is a minefield. So I've got behind me the only neutral outfits you need to try from the Zara Nguyen section this season. I'm going to kick off with my hero piece of this haul and all the items have tags at the moment because I'm not sure which items to keep so let me know in the comments below as we go through this try and which ones I should keep. But a trench coat is always an essential for spring and I came across this beautiful coat a little bit like a car coat. I love how the buttons are concealed at the front. I think it looks more expensive. We have this bent detailing at the back as you get with all your trench coats. On the cuff detailing we have some buttons so you can tighten the cuffs as well. I believe this is 97% cotton with 3% elastane so really good quality and you can really tell from the feel and the weight of it. It's going to go a long long way in your wardrobe, you're going to get lots of wear out of it, you're going to bring it out season upon season and I am obsessed so this is my hero piece I wanted to share it with you guys first. We are nearly at 17,000 subscribers here. I'm literally so, so grateful for anybody who comes by my videos. If you watch and you want a subscriber, if you could take a second just to like and subscribe, it helps me out more than you know. A staple in my wardrobe for spring, but also any time of year, is a good pair of trousers. So I picked up some tailored trousers in a lovely kind of creamy off white beige colour. These are super comfortable. I have a size small and I perhaps maybe need to size down to an extra small. These are a high-waisted pair of trousers. I would call them a straight leg. We have the darting down the middle. We have functional pockets at the front and then two pockets at the back but they're stitched up so I would just leave them stitched up because you don't want them gaping out the back and losing the shape and structure of these trousers. Uh, for height reference I am 5'8", five 5'9", foot five foot but I will leave all my measurements and all the sizes I got down in the description box below along with all of the product codes for these items and links as well. This is my wild card of the haul. I have a white denim dungaree set. We have a bib front which has pocket detailing which you can actually pop your phone or something in there. Uh, we have uh, adjustable suspender straps. Uh, we have pockets to the back, buttons to the side, uh, fastening up as well as some really deep pockets at the front. I'd say the fit of the actual leg on these dungarees is a little bit like a boyfriend fit. Uh, I have a size small. Uh, they are actually really, really comfortable, but just something about dungarees makes me feel like I'm wearing a big baby grow. Uh, but denim is going to be a huge trend for all the spring and summer as per usual. And I'm actually really, really into my white and light denim. So I thought I would give these a go. Let me know in the comments below also what you think of these. I'm showing you a very casual dress down way of wearing these in the cutaway. I have literally just paired them with this bralette, which is a knitted bralette, so something that would be great for laying under blazers like I have on with my little bralette now, but also to take you through to summer holidays as well, which is why I wanted to try this one, which is £17.99, 58% cotton, 42% polyester. We have some stretch in there, really nice nude colour. When I saw this next top, I got so excited because it made me think of spring and summer, and also because we've actually booked a summer holiday. Well, not even a summer holiday. Autumn holiday, we're going away in October. It is ages away. But when I see pieces that I like, I will start adding them to my wardrobe. So it's this really cute top, which we have crochet stretchy detailing in a bandeau boob tube at the top with a cutout detail. And then we have a brode anglaise, probably pronounced that wrong, at the bottom, which sticks out a little bit like a peplum hem and I found this super flattering. This comes in at £22.99. We have 100% cotton, which I'm guessing is this bottom bit here, and then the stretchy bit is polyamide and viscose, but I don't feel like it would make you sweat. I have styled the top with a pair of jeans. I actually really like Zara denim. Um, I think the sizings can be a bit off, so it's maybe a good thing to order two sizes if you're in between sizes if you're unsure. Now this white pair of jeans are a high rise full length. I've got a size 34 and that is the equivalent of a UK 6 and they are very snug. So hopefully they'll stretch with some wear which they should do because again I'm pretty sure these are 100% cotton in a really nice white colour. 
Normally I prefer off-white jeans because I feel like white can be a bit harsh, but I am actually in the market for some white jeans, so I thought I'd give these a go. We have a little bit of a frayed hem detail at the bottom, which is something I really love. It's a little bit raw, and uh, yeah, nothing bad to say about these jeans, just hoping that they'll stretch a little bit. Next up is something that I would not automatically be drawn to. I'm not the most feminine dresser. I'm not the most kind of going out for drinks and all that jazz getting glammed up because I have an 11 month old and I don't really get the chance to go and do that anymore. But again, with my holiday in mind, I picked up this beautiful ruched dress. Gave me Kardashian vibes slightly and I picked up a size small, but it feels like quite loose across the bust. So I don't know if I need to size down to an extra small. So I'd say this comes up large. It is 50 pounds and it's made of viscose and nylon. So not the best materials but to be fair you couldn't get this effect with a cotton dress i don't think and we have this beautiful ruched detail and you'll see better in the cutaways a boob tube stuff like this i think is great for holidays because it still allows you to tan your shoulders but i'm not sure if it suits my skin tone if it's maybe a little bit pinky it's more on the peachy side of a nude so again let me know in the comments below but i just could not resist trying this dress the holy grail of zara is their bodysuits and rosie huntington whiteley made these bodysuits super famous i think about two years ago i did a rosie huntington whiteley style video around the zara bodysuit so i'll leave that linked down below uh, in the description box for you and i just thought i'd pick up a white one uh, they're really affordable um, how much is this bad boy? They are £15.99. Uh, I have a black one and a nude one already that I got two years ago, but I will say yeah, they have bobbled quite a bit, so they won't last forever in your wardrobe, uh, but I do love the fact they have double lining, you don't have to wear a bra underneath them. Uh, so I thought I'd try white, I don't know if it'd be nippy or not, I've not tried them on yet. They look great under a blazer, they, oh, I'm just obsessed with them, I won't go on about them. I feel like I'm rambling already enough in this video. Another piece I believe should be in every woman's wardrobe is a suit. And here on my channel I am all about the oversized vibes. No, that's not everybody's bag, but I'm super excited that even more oversized is coming out for the new season. And I'm actually lacking grey in my wardrobe. I do really like grey. I don't really know why I don't have that many grey pieces. Uh, so I saw this suit and I thought I'd pick it up. So I have the trousers in an extra small. We have this beautiful wide belt detailing, which has about three buttonholes that you can obviously adjust to how loose you want to wear these trousers. And you can have it dangling down like this for a little bit of interest, or you could wrap it round for the loopholes. They are a wide leg. Again, we have darts down the front and we have the matching blazer to go with it. So the blazer, I've got a size medium. Doesn't actually feel that oversized on me, but it's probably because I'm used to my beloved Frankie Shop blazers. So I would probably send this back and go for a size large. A great suit for the office, for the weekend. I've paired it with trainers and that bodysuit and the cutaway just to show how you can take a suit from dressed up to dress down because if you bought this for work, you could also wear it on the weekend. And this is 89.99 for the blazer. So quite pricey on the blazer side to be fair but I do actually really like it and £60 for the trousers so you are looking £150 for the set uh, but I feel like there's something quite masculine uh, about this suit I'm not really into tight fitting suits personally that's not my personal style um, but I just love this suit I saw it on the website it looked amazing on the model I thought it looked really high end um, it feels really nice quality as well I feel like I just need to size up in the blazer but I thought I'd add a little bit of dark neutrals in this hole as well, otherwise it would literally just be a cream vest. You could literally find yourself doom scrolling the Zara website. There's so many pieces to look through. So I hope my edit of neutrals from the Zara New In section has been helpful. If it has, please do give this video a thumbs up. Like I said, it helps me out more than you guys will know. And I will see you in my next video next week. Bye.